a group of strangers gathered in a small community center. They came from different walks of life, a tired office worker, a young student, an elderly retiree, and a harried single mother. Despite their differences, they shared a common purpose, to chant Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo together. As their voices joined in unison, something remarkable began to happen. The initial awkwardness melted away, replaced by a palpable sense of connection. Eyes that had been downcast now met with warmth and understanding. In that moment, bound by the rhythmic flow of the chant, these strangers began to forge bonds of trust and companionship. This scene, replicated in countless settings around the world, illustrates the profound power of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to build trust and connection between people. But how exactly does this practice, central to Nichiren Buddhism, facilitate such deep interpersonal bonds? At its core, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is more than just a mantra. It's a declaration of the inherent dignity and potential within all life. When we chant these words, we're not only affirming our own Buddha nature but also recognizing it in others. This recognition forms the foundation of genuine trust and connection. Nichiren Daishonin wrote, If you light a lantern for another, it will also brighten your own way. This simple yet profound statement encapsulates the essence of how chanting builds connections. By sincerely wishing for the happiness and enlightenment of others through our chanting, we naturally create an environment of mutual trust and support. Dr. Daisaku Ikeda, the vibrant energy of the voice raised in chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo reaches beyond the confines of the individual and ripples outward into the environment, positively affecting all living beings. This ripple effect of positive energy creates a shared experience that can quickly break down barriers between individuals. But how does this work on a practical level? First, the act of chanting together creates a shared rhythm and focus. When people chant in unison, they synchronize not just their voices, but also their breath and even their heartbeats to some extent. This physiological synchronization can create a sense of unity and belonging, even among strangers. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo often involves vulnerability. To chant wholeheartedly in front of others requires a willingness to be open and authentic. This vulnerability, when met with acceptance and reciprocation, forms the bedrock of trust. As people chant together regularly, they witness each other's struggles, joys, and growth, fostering a deep sense of mutual understanding and support. Consider the experience of Sarah, a newcomer to a local chanting group. At first, I felt so self-conscious, she recalls. I was worried about getting the words wrong or sounding off-key. But as I continued to attend and chant with the group, I realized no one was judging me. We were all there to support each other's practice. That realization helped me open up not just in chanting, but in sharing my life challenges with the group. This openness and support that Sarah experienced is a common theme among practitioners. The shared act of chanting creates a safe space where people feel comfortable being their authentic selves. As Nichiren wrote, when you face a mirror and bow, the image in the mirror bows back to you. Similarly, when we approach others with sincerity and openness through our chanting, we often find that sincerity reflected back to us. The trust built through chanting extends beyond the immediate chanting circle. Many practitioners report that the connections they form through this shared practice positively impact their relationships in all areas of life. They find themselves more patient with family members, more understanding with colleagues, and more compassionate towards strangers. John, a business executive, shares how chanting has transformed his leadership style. Before I started practicing, I was always focused on results at any cost. But chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo has helped me see the humanity in my team members. Now, I lead with empathy and trust, and ironically, our results have improved dramatically. This ripple effect of trust and connection aligns with the Buddhist concept of dependent origination, which teaches that all phenomena are interconnected. By cultivating trust and connection through chanting, we contribute to a more harmonious and compassionate society as a whole. However, 
it's important to note that building trust and connection through chanting isn't always an instant or easy process. Like any relationship, it requires time, consistency, and sincere effort. Nichiren emphasized the importance of Itai Doshin, or many in body, one in mind. This principle encourages practitioners to work together harmoniously while respecting individual differences. Dr. Ikeda expands on this concept. Itai Doshin is not about erasing our individuality or unique characteristics. Rather, it's about creating unity of purpose while celebrating our diversity. This balance between unity and individuality is key to building genuine trust and connection through chanting. The practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo also helps us develop greater empathy and compassion, which are crucial for building deep connections. As we chant for our own happiness and that of others, we naturally become more attuned to the struggles and joys of those around us. Maria, a school teacher, noticed this change in herself after establishing a regular chanting practice. I used to get so frustrated with my more challenging students, she admits. But chanting has helped me see their Buddha nature, even when it's not obvious. Now, instead of getting angry, I feel a genuine desire to support their growth and happiness. This shift has completely transformed my classroom dynamic. This increased empathy and compassion often lead to more authentic and supportive relationships. When we truly see and acknowledge the inherent dignity in others, as the practice of chanting encourages us to do, we create an environment where trust can flourish. Moreover, the act of chanting together creates a shared sense of purpose that can strengthen bonds even in difficult times. Nichiren wrote, When the skies are clear, the land is illuminated by the light of the sun and moon, and when the winds blow, the grasses and trees of the forest are set in motion. This metaphor suggests that just as natural phenomena work in harmony, people who share a common purpose can support each other through life's ups and downs. This shared sense of purpose is particularly evident in how chanting groups often come together to support members facing challenges. Whether it's a health crisis, a career setback, or a personal loss, the bonds formed through chanting often translate into practical support and encouragement. Lisa, a longtime practitioner, shares her experience. When my husband was diagnosed with cancer, our chanting group rallied around us. They organized meal deliveries, helped with housework, and most importantly, chanted with us for his recovery. The trust and connection we had built through years of chanting together became a lifeline during that difficult time. It's worth noting that the trust and connection built through chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo aren't limited to those who share the same faith. Many practitioners find that the openness and compassion they develop through their practice enhance their ability to connect with people from all walks of life. Tom, a sales representative, noticed this in his professional life. Chanting has made me a better listener. I'm more present in conversations and genuinely interested in understanding others' perspectives. This has not only improved my relationships with clients but has also helped me build bridges with colleagues from different cultural backgrounds. This ability to connect across differences is increasingly important in our diverse and often divided world. The practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, with its emphasis on recognizing the Buddha nature in all people, can be a powerful tool for building trust and understanding across cultural, religious, and ideological divides. However, it's crucial to remember that chanting is not a magic solution for all relationship issues. It's a practice that, when done sincerely and consistently, can create the conditions for trust and connection to flourish. As Nichiren wrote, regard your service to your teacher as more important than your own life. This guidance reminds us of the dedication and effort required to build and maintain meaningful connections. In essence, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo serves as a catalyst for building trust and connection by aligning us with our highest selves and helping us recognize that same potential in others. It creates a shared experience that can quickly break down barriers between individuals fostering an environment of mutual support and understanding. As we continue this practice, we may find that our capacity for trust and connection expands far beyond what we thought possible. We begin to see the interconnectedness of all life, 
leading to a sense of kinship that transcends superficial differences. The journey of building trust and connection through chanting is ongoing and deeply personal. Each individual's experience will be unique, shaped by their own life circumstances, challenges, and relationships. Yet, the fundamental principle remains the same. By consistently connecting with our own Buddha nature and recognizing it in others through Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we create the conditions for profound trust and authentic connections to emerge in our lives. It's worth remembering Dr. Akeda's words. A great revolution in just a single individual will help achieve a change in the destiny of a society and, further, will enable a change in the destiny of humankind. This statement underscores the far-reaching impact of the connections we build through our practice. As we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and forge bonds of trust with others, we contribute to creating a more harmonious and compassionate world, one relationship at a time.